Hey guys, it's Matt with BK Vending, back for our third video. Uh, in this video, my son Noah is actually going to break down one of the Northwestern machines piece by piece and kind of walk you through the process as, as well as put it back together. Uh, so with that, I'm going to turn it over to him. Hey, what's up? I'm breaking down the Northwestern machine. Uh, so you can see, you start with the lid, and we've already drilled out the locks, so it comes out fairly easily. Uh, next is normally a support system for the glow. That's right here. We already uh, drilled out the, the um, or not drilled out, we already took these pieces out as you can see. Uh, so next this globe, comes off easily. Uh, we'll put in a gumball, just so you can see that it works. You, ha you do have to spin it a couple times just to make sure that it uh, goes all the way around. And you can, here it just came out, so you know it does work. Uh, next, there's this piece right here. Um, this actually is what like guides the the candy into the hole, into the holes of the of that. And then this will um, spin it around, and that's what pushes the candy into this hole right here. Next is the hop. Oh, and you'll see on this there's gears, and then right here. Uh, on the coin mechanism, that's what turns these gears so that it'll spin around. Uh, next, the hopper comes off, and then this coin mechanism, you, uh, this piece is what locks it. If it's down, it's locked, and when you pull it up, it comes out easily. Sometimes it sticks a little bit, you just kind of got to shimmy it out. Uh, we'll put in a coin so you can see how it works. So you can see without a coin, this piece right here actually stops it from spinning. It catches in that groove. Uh, but if you put a coin in and spin it, the coin keeps it above that groove and allows it to spin all the way through. And then, you know, it would just fall down there. Next piece to come off is this little flap. Um, comes off easily. The, right here, that's where it actually, uh, those that little groove, that's where it slides into this piece. This piece just lifts on it, uh, on and off, and this one slides on and off. You can see these little grooves right there. That's what goes in right there. This piece sometimes it sticks a little bit, but you can generally just pull it off like that, uh, so you can get your money out. And then this rod, if you ever have to take it off for cleaning or painting, whatever, use a seven seven sixteenths um, wrench and just. Uh, twist it off. Now to put it back together you just do everything in reverse. So you start with this box, lift it on. Next is the the uh, the chute. It just slides on and off really easily. Sometimes as well that will, that'll stick. You gotta make sure this hole is between the rod. Next put on the flap. And this piece. Uh, we're not 100% sure what these are actually called. So if you if, if you know what they are, uh, feel free to tell us. But yeah, you make sure that that's on nice and tight, just like earlier, the same way. And that, then you put the lock on. Got to make sure it's unlocked. Uh, again, sometimes it sticks. Just push it in and it'll be fine. And then push it down to lock it, and it'll hold itself in place. Um, put the hopper on next. Make sure that this hole goes around the shoe so that the candy can actually uh, get down. And then again, you just do everything in reverse order. Uh, we'll put a gumball in it so you can see that it still still does work. And you have to make sure that these holes right here are lined up with uh, the holes down there for that rod that uh, I'll show you in just a second. Uh, so if you put a coin in, you can see it does still work. But it's important that you twist it around a couple times so that it can actually move all the way around to the hole. That's important because that's you got to make sure that you get the candy. 
See, it does still work. Uh, the lid goes on next. Um, and then generally you'd put this, uh, the framing on, but we're not going to do that. Uh, and then just put the lid on. And then you would lock it generally, but we don't have a lock for it. And yeah, back to my dad. All right, I think he did a pretty good job. I did notice one thing that he missed, so I'm gonna have you have him uh, film me looking at this. On this piece right here, there's these grooves, and this metal piece will actually come out. You can see it has a little lip right there. And what that will do is determine the size of the um, hole that you have where your candy comes out. So if you put it there, it's a smaller hole. If you move it over here, it's a bigger hole. So depending upon how much candy you want to disperse, or if you're doing uh, like toy capsules or gumballs, you can adjust that to um, your liking, however you want, however much candy you want to come out. So other than that, that's the Northwestern machine. If you have any questions, please put a comment below. If we did something incorrect, put a comment below so that we can fix it. Um, but that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Again, comment below if you have any questions. And don't forget, uh, you can always check out our other videos. Uh, we would appreciate it. And thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you on the next one.